All right, howdy folks, and welcome to a Gridiron Live. This is um, NCAA Game Breaker 2001. Um, tonight I'm going to do a national championship run. So I'm going to take a... Probably like a smaller team, and then try to get to the national championship game. And the way I like to play this is I sim through the season, and I sim the bowl games if I get any. And I basically just... Um, basically just choose the schedules and... Pick the recruiting classes, and that's really, that's really it. Let me just check something real quick. Okay, so... What's cool about this game is that there's different positions, so you can have defensive coordinator, offense coach, defense coach, special teams coach. And of course you have your offensive coordinators as well, and assistant head coach and head coach position. Um, I think special teams coach is the lowest, so as you get demoted, you start going down the ladder. So let's start somewhere a little bit smaller. I think if you start out as a special teams coach, you can pretty much go anywhere, I think. Yeah. So let's start out as a coordinator. So we got Middle Tennessee, Memphis, we got Ohio State, Missouri, Nebraska. I think Middle Tennessee might be, it'll be a tie between Memphis and Middle Tennessee. We'll, we'll take mid Middle Tennessee. Okay, so... Taking a look at the roster... Seems like QB number 17 has a 70 overall. Wide receiver... 12 has an 88. Kicker and punter, they're not too bad. And a lot of 50s, 40s, and 30s, seems like. So a lot of work to do there. Okay. So the real strategy when you play like this is to... decide who your opponents are going to be because if you pick really strong teams you're going to get destroyed all the time but if you pick too too weak of a schedule um you, you could you could get passed up for bowl games and um also having a high ranking so yeah that's really the strategy so illinois Maybe. Florida, definitely not. Let's try... We'll go with Idaho. We got Maryland, Louisiana Tech, ULM, 
UAB, Mississippi State, probably not. But we'll go New Mexico. Yukon, that's fine. Got Lafayette. And what's cool is you can also add more than 12 games. So, I think that is a fair enough schedule. I don't expect it to go that well the first year. Let's go ahead and sim. And we go four and five. Okay, let's see if we don't get fired. Okay, needless to say, last season was a dis disappointing year for the for the program. We didn't play to our potential, failing to accomplish the goals we set before the season started. Our jobs are secure for now, but each of us must look in the mirror and see what we can do as coaches to make sure we're not embarrassed again. Next year, let's do whatever we can to get this program back on track, get back to work. And that's coming from the defensive coordinator. No, the uh, head coach. So you'll notice that we were a defensive coordinator, and now we got demoted to an offense coach. So it starts out uh, head coach, assistant head coach, the coordinator jobs, and then the offense, defense, and special teams coach. So you can see already we have assistant head coach offers. But we're just going to keep with uh, MTSU. Okay, so probably the biggest lost loss here is going to be defensive end number thirty with a oh no that's that's his speed rating never mind okay so here's part of the strategy as well so. Still have an okay QB at, at uh, 70 overall. But we we basically need talent all around. So the way it works in this game is it gives you a list and you either have to accept it or decline it. Now it might be a little bit cheesy to just keep generating a new uh, a new a new set of recruits but I think that's okay given that you can't actually go in and recruit specific players um, so we have a 78 overall halfback sophomore so he has two years to develop he might get to like the mid 80s and we have a junior at 78 overall, a freshman at a freshman tight end at 73, and a pair of decent uh, def defensive ends, both freshmen. And we have one at 76. So I think we'll take this one just because of the halfbacks and the defensive ends. So the trick, I'm not sure what to do here. Um, sometimes you might be on a recruits preference list, but you won't actually, like I don't know how it works exactly. So sometimes what I do when I'm starting out, I just either pick the closest one to um, my, my home state, where I pick the lowest rated one because I assume he's going to be harder to get. So we'll pick um, 
This 81 overall from Pennsylvania. Let's just pick the lowest ones. We got 80. 80 there. We'll go 83. 82. 81. Okay, so we have an 87, an 80, and a 90, all on defense. Okay, so taking a look at the schedule, got North Texas, North Carolina, probably don't want North Carolina. Um, let's we'll play Miami University. Got New Mexico State, New Mexico. Definitely don't want to play Nebraska. We'll play Ohio. Don't want to play Notre Dame. We'll play Rice. And NC State, probably not. We'll go Indiana. Whoops. Um, I think UTEP works. Okay. All right, time to sim. Okay. Well, not too bad. So let's take a look at the... So we... Went 9 and 2 overall. I guess Middle Tennessee is not in a conference. Um, so probably the closest game was against ULM, seven to nothing. We lose against Rice and Minnesota, but we beat UTEP, seventeen to zero. So overall, pretty solid year. Nine and two, finish number twenty-four. Not too much info there. Any bowl games? No. So that's that's kind of the, the thing. If you have too weak of a schedule, you could win nine, even ten games and get passed up for bowl games. So you really want to build up to actually beat some decent teams. Looks like the title game is going to be Texas and Mississippi. Texas wins that 24 to 10. USC takes the Rose Bowl. The Red Zone Bowl, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a replacement bowl, like they didn't they couldn't get the rights to it or if it's just a made up bowl. Same thing with the 989 Sports Bowl. So maybe it's like the Sugar Bowl or something. There's a Cotton Bowl. Well, I want to see if A&M is on here. Okay, so A&M loses to Illinois in the Alamo Bowl. Great job this year, coach. There were some peaks and valleys, but in the final analysis, I think we can be proud of a very productive season. But if we're going to take our program to the next level, we can't rest on our past successes. With that in mind, 
Let's recruit hard, have a good spring, and improve upon this year's solid record. Okay. So we don't get demoted and we don't get promoted. So we're losing a uh, senior QB at 71 overall, so that's going to be a big hole. And we lose that wide receiver number 12. So I'm going to be looking for a QB in this class. Okay, so here's one at 75 and 73. The interesting part about this is that sometimes you kind of have to take parts of a class and leave others. It's like, I want a QB, right? But I, you know, it might take me a lot more classes before I find something that I actually want. So I'm going to take this so that improves our QB spot to 75. Halfback is up to 80. Linebackers and DBs are up pretty high. And we'll stick to a running playbook. Next is the blue chip recruiting. It's always nice when you can get a blue chip quarterback. Let's go with South Carolina 81. Um, Missouri. Is that Michigan? I forget. Sometimes you want to go on a limb and try to get the highest rated player. But you also don't want to do that too much because you may end up passing up players that you can actually get. Like um, this guy from Phoenix. But we'll just pick the lowest numbers here. All we get is Tackle at 83. Okay. So, we finished 9 and 2, I believe. Or 9 and 3, I can't remember. And we didn't get into a bowl game, so we want to probably beef up the schedule just a little bit. We got an SEC team at Mississippi State. So let's take Notre Dame off of there. We'll play Kansas, so the toughest teams are probably going to be Mississippi State, Kansas, and Central Florida. Maybe Louisiana Tech. We'll see. Sim through this. Okay. So we get to 8 and 3. Not as high as last season. But we did beat Mississippi State. I 
And we also beat Kansas. So not as many wins as last season, but I think this schedule is a little bit tougher. Still not getting into a bowl game, though. So the title game is between Virginia Tech and Florida. Virginia Tech takes that one 21 to 0. Let's see if my Aggies are in here somewhere. Alright. So AM blows out West Virginia 69 to 14. Texas beating Wisconsin in the Alamo Bowl. Okay. Great job this year, coach. There were some peaks and valleys, but in the final analysis, I think we can be proud of a very productive season. But if we're going to take our program to the next level, we can't rest on our past successes. Uh, I think we read that one already. Okay, so... We're losing two decent wide receivers and an 80 overall kicker. Okay, this class, I really want to find... Somebody that stands out. I'm looking for high 70, possibly an 80. Usually the 80s are going to be uh, in the blue chip recruiting, but sometimes you can find one in the recruiting class. We do have a 79 overall halfback, but he's a sophomore. So we would lose one year of development on him. There is a 76 overall freshman. So we'll take that class. Beef up the running game a little bit. Depth wise. We still want to probably be a running team. We'll go out on a limb and pick the highest rated QB. Once again, I still want to just roll with the lowest numbers just to make sure that I have the highest chance of getting anyone. So we get an 82 overall defensive tackle. Okay. We have a 77 overall QB. Fairly solid running back at 81. Got two, three decent backups. Wide receiver core is still weak. Tight ends are fair. Kicker is terrible. And the defensive line is not too bad. 76, 74, 70, and a standout at 82. Okay. I have all the all the U schools. UTEP, Utah, Utah State, ULM, UNLV, ULL, UConn. So we got Notre Dame. Still not comfortable playing them yet. So let's play Oregon State and let's actually add a game. A 
Let's play Iowa. So let's sim the season. Okay, so we finished 13 and 1. Number 13 as well. Okay, so we finally get a bowl berth in the Jeep Aloha Football Classic versus Oregon State. Looks like we handled our opponents pretty well. There weren't really any close games. So that means that we can start pumping up the difficulty a little bit. Tough loss against UAB there by a field goal. Eked out a win against uh, Louisiana Tech. Barely winning against Toledo. So a surprising amount of shutouts, 28-0, 17-0, Okay, so finally we get to a bowl game. If I weren't doing a national championship run, I would play this game. I'm just going to sim it. Ouch. Oregon State manhandles us 42-3. So not the ending that we wanted, but still a fair season. And we get the same email. So we're losing that halfback. And a 80 overall safety. Um, so... Not a lot of players in this class. I usually have a lot of luck finding good players when I recruit speed. There's two good defensive backs, cornerback and a safety at 78. Hmm. I'll keep looking. Once you get like a like a solid quarterback, you really start to notice it in the passing yards, in total touchdowns, the points that you score. It makes a huge difference. So no, no QB here, but we do have an 80 overall cornerback and an 80 overall tight end, which we'll take. Okay, so this is where you want to be. You want to be where the blue chips have you as their number one. This is the highest rated uh, QB, so we'll take him. We'll go like mid tier, 85. Wide receiver, we'll go a little mid tier there at 84. Tight end. Offensive lineman, 87. Okay, here we go. So here's our QB, 93. 6'5", 222. It's a big, big freshman. Okay, so the next couple seasons are going to be our window to make, make, to make something happen. So 
So we have a 93 overall QB as a freshman, which means that he might actually get up to like 95, maybe even 99. So we'll, we'll have to see about that. Um, halfback is 81 overall. Tight end, 80. So it looks like we're going to have some... Uh, a pretty decent, um, pretty, pretty decent target to throw to at tight end. So, so we got UAB, Tulsa, Tulane. Let's let's leave Notre Dame on there. So we've got Southern Miss and South Carolina. We'll play an extra game. We'll play Virginia. Our two strongest games are probably going to be Notre Dame and South Carolina. All right. Okay, so it took us a bit to get ranked 11 and 2 overall. Another bull berth against Toledo, not a great opponent. Notre Dame we did lose, but it was a relatively competitive game at 20 to 31. Lost against Virginia. We did beat South Carolina. Look at that. Freshman of the year. That's our quarterback. First nationally in sacks. So our defense is doing pretty well. Let's take a look at some stats. So, just like I said, offensive touchdowns have gone up dramatically because of that 93 overall QB. Passing touchdowns. Number six in points total. Opponent point average, number five, passing efficiency, 133, number 12 in passing, it's not too bad, receiving number six. Here's our Motor City Bowl against Toledo. And we beat Toledo 14 to 3. Let's take a look at the title game. So we got wow. Michigan loses to number one Air Force. It's always funny to see Air Force. See if A and M is on here. Ouch! Tough loss against number twenty-five Syracuse. Let's take a look at the career progress. 
So obviously no national championships. Um, I'm not sure how it calculates conference championships because I think Middle Tennessee is an independent in this game. So maybe out of all the independents, I have the best win record. Um, we've only played in two bowls so far. We're, our record is one and one. Our career win percentage is 76. So the goals for advancement, I think, are what you have to achieve to get bumped up. So we need to be rank, ranked 15th or better and have more than 300 scrimmage yards per game. So a lot more offensive production. A few losses at the receiving position and the defensive line. Cornerback 96 is leaving as well. A lot of players in this class. So, with this many players, you're probably not going to get too many good ones. Um, I do see a lot of 60s and 70s. A couple high 70s, which is pretty decent, considering how many players are in the class. We'll take this one. Quarterback is at 94 now. Halfback 83, fullback 80, tight end 83. Oh man. 99 freshmen. We'll take our chances. So I'm going to go mid-tier with all of the... Didn't get the QB, but we did get some solid players. Halfback, wide receiver, and defensive tackle. Okay, so... A very solid stable of running backs. Uh, very good wide receiver. Couple decent backups. A little weak in the linebacker core. I think we can go out on a limb here. So we got Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech wins a lot of stuff in this game. So we'll pass on them. We'll play Virginia, Vanderbilt... Econ is not going to be a challenge. Let's pick... Let's play Washington State. And let's replace UTEP with another kind of mid-tier team. Um, let's see, Stanford, Southern Miss, we'll go South Carolina again, and we'll play an extra game against Kansas State, 
Sure. Okay, so we finished 12 and 2 at number 19. Lost a close one to Kansas State. And lost to Virginia by about three touchdowns. We get another bull berth in the Jeep Aloha Football Classic against Arizona State. See how this one goes. Oof. So Arizona State wins that one by a single point, 28 to 27. It's a tough one. Yep, and Virginia Tech wins the title. Let's see where AM is. Holiday Bowl. Good little win against Oregon. Okay. So, not a bad year. 12 and 3. Ranked 25. Played in the Jeep Aloha Football Classic. Quarterback of the year winner. And a couple more accolades. Overall, fairly solid year. So let's go into next season. And we still don't get a promotion, still sitting at offense coach. Okay, so. We are losing an 80 overall quarterback. It's kind of funny because he never played. Two solid guys in the backfield. HB number 15 and fullback number 34. Okay. Should probably let's see. Yeah, so we 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 won't have another quarterback in two years after number three is gone. We definitely want to find somebody now. Someone who's at least a seventy. We definitely want to keep up that offensive production. Okay, so here's one. Number 15. 77 overall. The other positions are kind of weak, but we'll take it. Okay, quarterback is up to 96. Definitely want to be a passing team. Pull back. We'll go mid tier. We'll go. We'll actually go all out on the wide receiver here. 97. Tight end. We have an 85. Oh, there we got it. So the QB in 92 is a junior. So he'll only have a couple years of eligibility. Considering that our QB, our players don't get injured in Sim, uh, he actually won't, won't be playing at all. 
But we do get a good fullback and a good linebacker. So our roster is starting to get stacked a little bit. Mostly on the offensive side. Let's beef up our schedule. So we've got Oregon, NC State, Ohio State. We'll, we'll leave them on there. Nebraska are a little bit too tough. Tough games are going to be against Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oregon, and NC State. And we'll add an extra game against West Virginia. Probably should have added a tougher opponent because we finished number three. Not quite enough to get to the title game. Okay. So we get to the 989 Sports Bowl against Nebraska. That'll be a very tough game. So yeah, we're getting to the point where we're beating the cupcakes by 70 points, roughly. So beating beating uh, Mississippi State by 50. Okay, so this one's gonna be a tough one. Nebraska wins 24 to 14. Close game, though. At least it was competitive. So we got Bobby Bowden, Florida State, beating TCU 10 to nothing. Let's see what the Aggies are doing. Tough year for them, I guess they don't get to get to a bowl game. Still an offense coach. Feel like feel like we're getting disrespected a little bit. So losing a pretty decent halfback and a wide receiver. Let's see what we can reel in here. If we can get some decent wide receivers, maybe someone who can make an instant impact. Okay, got two 74s, both freshmen. We'll take it. Tight end's pretty good at 91. Quarterback up to 98. This might be the highest rated quarterback I've had. Okay, so we got a linebacker and a safety. Not bad. Okay. So we have two incredible senior quarterbacks. They both could play at top tier programs. Wide receivers are not very great right now. But I think with the 98 overall QB, this is we're gonna have to go out go out on a limb here. 
Georgia Tech, UConn, Fresno State, Florida State, Colorado State, Notre Dame, Navy. Let's add... Let's add Texas A&M. And we got Florida, Florida State as well. So we got Florida State, Notre Dame, and Texas A&M. Three pretty solid teams. Florida State is the defending national champion. So hopefully that... Accidentally clicked away from Florida State. Okay. All right. Oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, that's ridiculous. Somebody has to be out to get us. So we beat everyone in convincing fashion. Poor Lafayette losing 80 to 6. And the Aggies 62 to 7. I mean, that's ridiculous. We beat the defending national champions and we're only ranked number 3. So we get another rematch against Nebraska. There we go. MTSU beats number four Nebraska 31 to 10. And Virginia Tech plays number seven Purdue. So this is something that I've seen before. It must be a bug of some kind. Because the Game Breaker Bowl is the national title, and it it should be one and number one and number two. Although this is probably because no, I'm number two now. Yeah, so it's not a bug. It's just I checked after the sim. That's right. So we finished 14 and 0. The Heisman candidate number three. Of course, we win quarterback of the year. Let's check out some other stats. Offensive touchdowns 83. Passing 63. Not a huge rushing team. Points total. Points per game. Yeah, so we're 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 right up there. Okay. Hopefully that's enough to get a promotion. Finish number two. Still an offense coach. So it's an old game. The... The... It's not very consistent. It goes up and down. Okay, so we lose awesome QBs, one of which never played. All right, so we might see a bit of a slump now. We'll see. So we definitely need a QB. 
the cost of every other position, we need a QB. Because if we don't, we're going to see a major slump. Seventy-six. I feel like we can do better. Okay. Seventy-seven. One's a freshman, one's a sophomore. So, pretty big hit at quarterback position. Halfback still... Pretty strong. Every other position is in the 80s. Hold back 99. Why not? Having some. It's not a very good year for blue chip recruiting. Only an 83 overall tight end. Okay, so we're gonna have to tame our expectations this year. Let's add in. Oklahoma State is a bit of a buff. And we'll play Houston as an extra game. So our schedule schedule is a little bit weaker, but there's a couple more games. I'm predicting nine wins. Okay, so wasn't too far off. Lost against Oklahoma State and Boise. Lost against BYU. And lost against Notre Dame. So we finished 10 and 4, unranked. No bowl games either. Schedule was a little bit too weak. Okay, so Tennessee loses to Florida State 10 to 14. Okay, so how long has it been? It's 2009. So we only get 20 years in the career mode. We have a little bit over halfway to go. Career record's pretty good 95, 22, 81 win percentage. Thing is, it's a little it's a little bit padded. So we lose that ninety one overall halfback. We lose the tight ends, the wide receivers, defensive line, linebacker. Strength. Barely decent. 
defensive line. Got four seventies, two sixties, two decent tight ends. So I guess we'll go into this class thinking defense. Pullback is 90. Let's pick all of the candidates that have us preferred. Okay, decent quarterback, 80 overall. He is a he is a running quarterback though. Two decent wide receivers as well. Whoops. I forgot to Okay. Wyoming, Wisconsin, Notre Dame, USC. Let's add Virginia as another test. Eleven and two, not too bad. So we get to play SMU in the Silicon Valley Football Classic. Lost against Navy. Okay, so we finish with a pretty decent bull win. And State knocks out number 8 USC. Florida wins a sports bowl and gets number 2. Seventy-eight overall freshman halfback. Okay, so we got an eighty overall halfback, eighty overall defensive end. We'll take this class. The fullback is the weakest position right now. All right, a couple of good players for the defense and offense. We got two decent quarterbacks, two fairly solid wide receivers, and a good tight end. Secondary is a, is a little bit weak. Oklahoma State, Ohio State. Let's add in an extra game against Pittsburgh. Here we go. Ooh. Ten and three. 
Not a very good 10 and 3, though. Lost all three challenging games. That's a tough one. Beat Notre Dame, though. Florida State takes it again. Let's see where A&M is. Tough loss in the Holiday Bowl against USC. Apparently there's Easter eggs. Should probably look that up and see what it is. Okay. Still on offense, coach. We should hit the wide receivers pretty hard. 77, 75, 76. So they'll probably be in the 80s by their sophomore, junior year. Quarterback is up to 87. like this 80 overall freshman. You always want to have enough time to de to develop them. Okay. Got the quarterback. West Virginia, not a very strong schedule. We'd probably replace that. Let's get some tougher opponents. Not too tough though. Got Toledo, let's get Arkansas. Virginia Tech, might be too tough. Let's go Wake Forest. Uh, let's, let's go LSU. Okay, so we finish 11 and 1. Lost against Notre Dame. So we get back to the Jeep Aloha Football Classic. This time against Arizona. And we whip them 55 to 10. Finishing the year 12 and 1, number 11. Let's see. Quarterback of the year. Receiver of the year. Looks like we got some girlies in the chat. Let's get rid of you real quick. Um, there we go. And they're gone. 
Okay. Uh, where was I? Bowl games. So who wins the title? Florida taking it 21 to 24. Man, just can't get over this hump. We'll focus more on defense. An 80 overall center. That should actually help us. Quarterback is at 90. Back, we'll go as low as possible. Just see if we can't replace that sixty nine. Oof, no recruits. It's a tough hit. Who is on our schedule? A lot of weak games, of course. Let's get rid of Idaho. Let's get rid of... Uh, Navy. We'll play North Carolina. Central Florida. Let's take Clemson. I think that should be good. Nine and three. Beat Clemson. And of course. Okay, so we get a bull berth against Fresno State in the Silicon Valley Classic. So that's the thing about... If you have... Even if you don't get to double-digit wins, if your schedule is stronger, you'll make it into a bowl game. Of course, we win that one. Ouch. Got Texas being embarrassed by Ohio. 20 to 0. Aggies taking down Iowa, number 14. 24 to 10. Our senior overall, or senior 90 overall, is gone. I don't know. I feel like we're starting to miss the window. Need to beef up the defense, I think.
want to go for the freshmen so they can have the most time to develop. Wide receiver and defensive tackle. Let's get rid of Yukon. Let's play UCLA. Let's play Miami. Couple good tests. Ouch. Six and five. Tennessee takes it. Not a good showing this year. That was probably my fault because of the scheduling. <laughs> we got demoted to defense coach. So all that number two, number three ranking didn't change anything. But one six and five season, demoted. I guess this game's pretty realistic. I'm starting to get a little desperate now. good defensive ends. Okay, so. Positions are starting to go below uh, 80 now in a couple areas. Pretty decent receiving core. Almost all of them are 80. Don't quite have the quarterback to match it, though. Missouri, Mississippi State, Minnesota, Michigan State. I think that's a fair schedule. Not a little bit too hard. Ooh, we're number one for just a second. That game against LSU really messed us up. 12 and 1. It's 2015, we have a couple more years. So we're playing in the Independence Bowl against Georgia. We shut them out 24 to 0. Number 10, Texas A&M beats Minnesota 35 to 3. Tennessee takes it again two years in a row. Looks like we're losing a lot of wide receivers. Let's see if we can't find some good ones. Oh, 
There's a 79 and an 80. Mike C says, how many national championships during this sim? Uh, nope. The closest I got was number three. And, uh, I think we were number one for just a second. Um, this past season. So we, we've gotten close, but not quite yet. It's all really scheduling. When you're simming, you really have to schedule. Schedule the games right. Sometimes it's too tough or too easy and your schedule's weak. And you get overlooked, so... So we got 83 halfback and fullback and an 86 defensive tackle. Mike C says, that's rough. Good luck. Videos like this make me want to load up an old NCAA game. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing. Winning with MTSU might not be possible. Well, I mean, I had a, a 98 overall quarterback, and that was really, that's the closest I got. Like, that was, I think that was my window. I don't have that many years left. That's going to be tough. You only get a 20, 20 year career mode. Yeah, I am addicted to these old college football games. The real trick is in the scheduling. You really have to match the schedule with the roster and it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Our backfield is fairly strong. It's in the 80s. Wide receivers, pretty good. Almost all are 80s. Defensive end. Secondary is just pretty weak in comparison. Definitely putting a little bit more emphasis into the offense. So we got Oklahoma, o Ohio State, two fairly solid games. Mississippi State, although they are an SEC team, they're not very strong. So you kind of have to look out for high-value teams. Teams that aren't going to really kill you, but they're not like Idaho or Kent State. So the toughest games are Oklahoma and Ohio State. I think I'll add in an extra game just to beef it up just a little bit. And we'll play Colorado State. Okay. Ouch. So we finished 8 and 5. We did have a tougher schedule. No bowl game. Unfortunately, we lost against Oklahoma. Lost against Notre Dame. Lost against Louisiana Tech and Central Florida. And NC State. it's 2016 that means I have four or five years left so the title game is against Notre Dame and Florida State Florida State takes it 21-17 see where A&M is
Looks like they're not bowl eligible, or at least no bowl inv invitation. Man, I got demoted again. So it, it's tough to advance, and it's very easy to get demoted. So special teams coach is actually the last position. There's there's no position underneath special teams coach, so got to be careful here. Imagine an 8-5 and five missing out on a bowl game in real life. Yeah, well... With the number of bowl games that exist now, you know, even five win teams can sometimes get in. So, that's what's kind of cool about there being less bowl games is that their prestige kind of goes up. But yeah, an, an eight and five missing out in a bowl game today would be. That would be unheard of. So we're losing... Nothing too major. Losing an 85 halfback. 80, 82 wide receiver. Couple decent linebackers. Okay, so... Got two 80s, almost three 80s, all on the defensive side. Um, I think we'll beef up the defense a little bit with this class. QB is actually pretty good also at 79 as a sophomore. So, only the tight end and the defensive backs are not over 80. Looks like we'll take this junior, pull back, we'll go 83, 93 freshman, we'll take a chance on him, junior at 91, and we are number one on their preference list, take that, um, 94 freshman, uh, we'll go 80. Defensive line, 81. 90 overall freshman linebacker. Defensive backs. Okay, so all that and all we get is an 81 safety. That's okay. Some decent defensive tackles. Okay, West Virginia, Washington State, Washington, Wake Forest, Virginia Tech. Virgin Virginia Tech is still a juggernaut, so I don't want to play them. And believe it or not, Air Force was actually number one for a bit, and they took the title, the uh, national title. It's always funny to see. We'll play uh, Akron. Notre Dame. Let's pick a different team. Mississippi. That's good. We'll add an extra game against... We'll play Missouri. There it is. Did it. All right. It's kind of funny because this is actually not the strongest roster I've had. But the, the stars aligned. Okay. 
So we finished 14 and 0. Um, getting into the Game Breaker Bowl, which is a national title against uh, Florida State. Let's see if there were any close games. Utah, fairly close. Um. Louisiana Tech, kind of. We really held the opponents to very little points. I guess that, that was a good, uh, good move to beef up the defense. And Missouri barely winning that one, 17-10. Okay, so I think that was 17 or 16 seasons in we get into the national title game. All right. Here we go. We're going to go to Venice Beach. Of course, it's going to be a night game. Clear skies. Let's go. Starting to get worried that we weren't going to make it. So it took 16 seasons. And that's really more or less how it should be. I guess it should take a while to this build up is what a college football player dreams about. The a program like MTSU. National Championship in the Game Breaker Bowl. For one of these two teams tonight. That's why I don't like playing NCAA 14 too much. Got a dandy of a game tonight between the Florida State game is just Minnesota way too easy. And the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. I'm Keith Jackson, and this is Game Breaker 2001. Maybe if I sim the games like this, it wouldn't be as easy. But it takes so long to sim a season. Okay. We're going to go old school. We're going to kick. All right. Here we are, folks. 16 seasons in. MTSU in the national title game against Florida State. I do wish this game would let you rename the rosters. Or that that would generate uh, names for the players. Let's go multiplayer cam. We'll start off a little balance and go cover two out of the nickel. The Blue Raiders with six, no, five, five defense. Intercepted. Nope. One okay. of those big fellas got a big old paw up in the sky and returned that one to Cinder. So great to have Keith Keith Jackson's voice. Number five comes to the attack here in the first quarter. Penalty. Probably gonna give him PI. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever, like, sat down and, like, watched college football games from the 90s. Like, I put them on in the background while I work. And it's just... The, the, like, the ESPN on ABC is so nostalgic. It's ridiculous. Like, the, the old graphics, the old ABC... ESPN logo is great. I love watching the commercials. Crazy. It's like a... If you just, like, put it on and actually watch it, it's like... It's almost like a little bit of a time machine. Especially with the commercials. 
You've heard the phrase short arm in the past, you just saw it. He heard the hook beats. So much nostalgia. Probably should have done some scouting. I don't know if they're like a running team or a passing team. Almost. Almost intercepted there. So it's third and ten. Let's go. Three, two, six, base. Number five comes to the attack. And deflected. If eleven guys do what they're supposed to do, the plan works. But we hold them, assuming they're going to kick a field goal. Yeah. This one takes the lead. <laughs> That's missed. Alright, so MTSU holds FSU out of the end zone and out of the goalposts. Florida State corners tight. <laughs> Offensive line, no push. Defensive middle, under the pass. Tough. Put him up. Let's see, where's the power eye? Boss left. So they're bunched up on the strong side. Heads for the sideline. Huge run. The running back used great vision to spot the opening. And I don't think I've ever seen this in any other game, but take a look at the tackles. You can actually drag tacklers. And it's very crude, of course. But I don't think I've ever seen that in any other game. Pretty cool. Number five comes to the attack in the nice, really nice block there. The defense must have been thinking pass on that play because the coordinator just threw his hands in the air and shook his head. Go power eye. 22 zoom. A tight end and a wide receiver there. Hot, 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 Number five hot, looks hot, at hot. first down. Ooh. Pass is incomplete. When the pass blocking not is quite there. The defensive lineman adds speed. It's second and ten. Call another toss play. Florida State throwing a four. If this keeps up, it could be the college football version of the OK Corral. Just grease the holster, oil the trigger, and pull your chin strap tight. It's a sound break. Oof. Dangerous, but he caught it. Drags him for a couple yards. Yards. Crazy. I will just go up the gut a little bit here. Number five, lined up in the Dives, does he make it? No, he gets stopped at the one. There it is, noggin' in there and rooted out the defender. Take another dive up the middle. And we get in. Number seven, somersaulting in. Nice little dance. Number seven with the moves. And we'll go... Where is this? Special team. Steel goal. Extra point try. It's good. Good kick. The Blue Raiders, seven, the Seminoles, nothing.
We'll go nickel cover two. See if we can't get them behind the sticks. Good run. The offensive line knocked the defense right in the chops, and the running back did the rest. Let's add in a couple more linebackers. Number five looks at first down. A wide receiver incomplete. Dangerous throw there for me. Second and ten. Let's go three, four, base. Three wide out. Hot, hot, hot. Second down. The running back has it. Okay. It's third and six. Um, let's go four, four. Georgia. Put a little pressure on him. And we stop him. Almost handed the ball to the defender that time. Quick penetration. Fake. Yeah. First uh, fake pun I've seen. That wasn't going to work. We're still up by seven. So we're going to toss to the strong side. When the ball carrier blows by your linebackers and defensive backs like that, time to hire a new speed coach. Number five, lined up in the eye formation. Great second effort by the back. Gains the length of his body as he twists off the stack. Very Guess we didn't get any yards that time. Second and nine. Let's go back to the toss play. That seems to work pretty well. Second down. <laughs> get off me. Oh, he's fast. That run got the crown on its feet. Big gainer to the outside. Great blocking on the perimeter. Kill the defense. Hot, wide. Hot, hot. Throwing on first down. <laughs> Penalty flag all over the place. Intercept or uh, interference. We'll take that. Split back. Oh, that first down. Ah, oh, fumble. Are you serious? The defense made a strong statement on that play. We are not going to let you just walk down this field. Rumble. You get them inside the 10, though. At the end of the first quarter, the Blue Raiders, seven, the seven old, nothing. Might be an opportunity to score two points. We'll see. We'll go four, three. Let's see. We can find a good blitz here. It's a five man blitz. Middle Tennessee State throwing a four man. Ooh, catches it, but he doesn't go very far. That's exactly what happened here. See, Blitzman is. Six man blitz. 
Number five, lined up in the eye for me. Damn. They're still around the five yard line. Short gate. We'll dial that up again. Hot. Middle Tennessee State hot, corners hot. tight on the receiver. <laughs> What's gonna happen? With a great defensive play. Okay. This young defensive back will often get burned by looking into the backfield. So we get him with a three and out, and we're gonna go. Read the quarterback's eyes. Took him down. Try to block the punt. Number twelve in the punt. Hot. Ooh, that was close. Number seven in the backfield. I wish more teams would run with a fullback, kind of like they used to do back in the day. Some teams still do it, but it's mostly all shotgun and up-tempo stuff. If going backwards was worth anything, that would have been a great play. Receivers in motion. Good block. He's a speed burner. Defenders may have corralled him if they'd kept him inside, but get him outside. You need a rope. Split back. Number five. Some say that's the hardest catch to make because you're standing there all alone. Suddenly the ball's coming and you wonder where everybody else is. Second and six. Just need six yards here. Almost. He's now over the century mark and rushing today. Third and two. Can we get it? Oh, the ball carrier almost popped that one. The goal defender took his legs away. Fourth and one. Of course, that's an arm as big as a tree limb. I think we can get this. Sixth play. We got that. They're showing sound fundamentals, old-fashioned stuff. As soon as that ball carrier crosses the line of scrimmage, the defense just swarms it. Seventh play. Well, that young man shows you something. If you're a good defensive tackle, you get off the ball, get your penetration, then you like have those a good time. disrupt everything. Routes to the right side of the field. Eighth play. That's where all the spaces. Oh, that was bad. Oh no, he caught it. It's not a matter of simply being fast. This youngster is an excellent college football player, and he makes catching difficult passes look easy. Ninth player of the drive. Hot. Great second effort by the back. Gains the length of his Pretty body. Close. And he twists off the stack. Very good work for the young warrior. We got it. Had a little celebration there. Number fifty to try the extra point. Get to the point is good. The Blue Raiders, fourteen, the seven old, nothing. Okay. So far, Florida State not having a very good showing. Hmm. 
I'm assuming they're going to start to pass it now. Ooh. Nice tipped pass. place for a quarterback when the defense has that kind of coverage. Nowhere to throw, nowhere to hide. Intercepted. Ouch. Can I turn this one? Nice. Got some blocks. Uh oh. Come on, we can speed burst. Oh, we got it. We got it. Gotta celebrate here. A little bit of moves. Missed tackle. Reverse the field. Get a lot of blocks there. Have to outrun that guy. Oh. It's not what I wanted. The Blue Raiders have spent a timeout. Go special teams. Field goal. Extra point. The Blue Raiders. Twenty-one. Seven zero. Nothing. Florida State will receive the kick. So there's 22 seconds left in the half. Almost lost the ball there. 3 2 6. Go for a run play. That'll run the clock right out. I've still got 11 seconds. Never mind. Number five. We'll go to work for the split back. Kills on the college football field, folks, unless, of course, you've got sure are being pretty conservative game. here. So, cover three. Great job by the lead blocker on that one. Buried his noggin in there and rooted out the defender. That'll do it for the first half. Okay. Halftime. The Blue Raiders. 21. The Seminole. 21 to zero so far. Not a good showing for the Seminoles. Like we're three out of four. 32 yards. Whole lot of rushing yards. Okay. Here begins the third quarter, and we get the ball back. So I'm up by three. I think I want to... Really start working the clock. Number five lined up in the eye. Number forty wrestles down the ball carrier. Get these two yards with the fullback. Just relaxing. I 
think we got it. Third and one, okay. So I don't know if there's a spin move. On that play, because the coordinator just threw his hands in the air and shook his head. I've never ran an option play, so I'm going to see how that works. Number five, lined up in the eye formation. Oh, that was stupid. The L1 and R1 buttons will pitch the ball anytime, anywhere, as was demonstrated on that play. <laughs> Somebody had better go back and read the manual. It's Keith Jackson breaking the fourth wall. That is definitely not the pitch button. The Blue Raiders with six. Hot. No, five. <laughs> For the sideline. When you run between the tackles, you better wrap that football because they're greedy hands in that stack and they'll take it away from you. So she probably should practice not in the national championship game. Offense can nickel and dime you to death when they start throwing it underneath like that. To stop it, you gotta get in that quarterback space. Hot. Somehow he picked up a couple in Third the and one. twisted mass of humanity. Red, Number 22. 34, to the left. Hot. Ooh, we get him in the backfield. Split the defenders, couldn't do it. Too much penetration for the defense. Can go for a field goal. And they get it. The Blue Raiders. Okay, so no more options pl option plays until I know how to actually pitch the ball. State showing a four man. Somehow he picked up a couple in that twisted mass of humanity. I'm gonna go toss left. Number five looks at second. They better try the middle because after that one, it looks like the defense is pretty solid on the perimeter. Three yards. Let's go. Actually, we're going to go trips. Waggle. Florida State corners tight to ah. the receivers. Delay of game on the offense. Third and 12. Guess we're gonna have to go all go. Florida State goes with a four man front. Throwing intercepted. Anytime the receiver backs off of a pass, he already knows that the ball's gonna uh, intercept with, or he's gonna intersect with the defender. Tennessee State. <laughs> nice little pickup there. The Hogs up front taking care of business. The running back doing what he does best. So. Middle Tennessee State shows Hot. blitz. Hot. blitz. <laughs> well, that was they were in the backfield before he could do anything. Maybe thrown right out of bounds. Let's go back to the four six. Blue, 47. Hot, hot, hot. 
Wide open, too. I remember this quarterback with the highly sought after high school football recruit. Sometimes that's all monk, but not here. He's the real deal. Let's go back to nickel cover two. The Blue Raiders with six no five. <laughs> Florida State's getting a pretty good push up front. The Blue Raiders showing blitz. Good open field tackle. Probably saved a touchdown there. Second and ten. Four wide. Forty-seven. Oh, here we go. Gotta get a speed burst. Come on, come on, come on. See if I don't tear my ACL. Wow. Talk about room service. That's a drive killer. The play was so good it couldn't show it. Extra point. Hot. A blue Raider. Whoops. Needed a little bit more leg on that one. But, but unless the Seminoles plan to score 27 unanswered points, this one's starting to look like it's wrapped up. Number five comes to the attack. <laughs> nice little pickup there. The hogs up front taking care of business. The running back doing what he does. Okay, back. so that's the end of the third. Of the third quarter. The Blue Raiders, 27, the Seminoles, three. <laughs> Middle Tennessee State showing a four man front. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. I get some more blocks. The coaches told me yesterday they want a three to one touchdown to interception ratio. Well, that's not going to help them get there. Three wide out. Somehow he picked up a couple in that twisted mass of humanity. All right, so we have the ball now. We're up by quite a bit. Let's just ride the clock now. There's nothing you can do when a running back breaks contain and has that kind of speed. Just hang on. Hope for the best. We're going to toss it to the strong side of the field. That's where all the space is. There's nothing you can do when a running back breaks contain and has that kind of speed. Just hang on. Hope for the best. Hey. Just wind down the clock, the play clock. Snap it at two. They're showing sound fundamentals, old fashioned stuff. As soon as that ball carrier crosses the line of scrimmage, the defense just swarms it. Florida State corners tight. 
hard fought four yards right there. In that twisted mass of humanity. Approaching three and a half minutes. Great second effort by the back. Gains Third and five. As he twists off the stack. Very good work for the young warrior. Let's see if we can get the five yards on the toss toss play. There we got it. The defense just couldn't cut him off, so he took it around the corner and left him looking. We'll take a shot downfield just for just for fun. Number seven, the lone back. Throwing on first down. Easy throw, easy catch. Motion. Nowhere to go but down. Third and one. Nice play of the drive. Great job. Man. And the lead blocker on that one. Buried his Florida State defense can't do anything. Guess it doesn't really matter what I pick now. Number five comes to the attack in the third period. I guess triangle is the hard count. Second and twelve. Florida State corners. Number thirty-six. You're gonna make any running back look like a star with bad tackling like that. The coaches screaming their heads off. Third and seven. Florida State. If you look how that play Got the first down off of a dive. Offensive line was able to seal off the perimeter of the defense and spring the running back. See if he can't just go up the middle. Number five lined up in the <laughs> The defense closed down the running lanes very quickly on that play. They got some blue chippers on that side of the ball. Second and goal, just need one yard. And we got it. And yeah, so not a very competitive game, unfortunately. Might be the difficulty rate, the setting, multi setting. Not sure. Florida State will receive the kickoff. It is a PS1 game, so can't imagine that it's super difficult. Got a minute and thirty seconds. I talked to this receiver's coach yesterday. He said he's just scratching the surface of his potential. That's scary. The wide receiver incomplete. That is solid pass coverage all around. Corners, safeties, linebackers, everybody solid in their job that time. Okay, so, man, 
Kind of embarrassing for Florida State. Kind of feel bad. Three wide out. Fed 22. Man. Sometimes a quarterback gets the interception for throwing the ball too hard, and sometimes for throwing it too soft. Too hard that time. If you can't get an easy pass. A four -man. Way off. All right, we just need to be need to be running it. Receivers in motion. Broke one tackle. He just went over 200 yards rushing. Whoa, Nelly. All right, 45 seconds. I'll bleed the clock here. We'll only have to run another play after this. Number 36. Number five. Can we get a touchdown pass, maybe? Oops. Silly way to end it, but. Oh well. to have a little fun there. Thirty-four to ten. There it is. The Blue Raiders. Thirty-four. The Seminoles. 10. Man. Five touchdowns to one. And that was just because I was messing around. I love these old, uh, Early 3D models with the helmets. Very cool. We have earned a new Easter egg. Really. I don't know what it is. So, you win the national title finally 16 seasons in, 15 seasons in, uh, 34 to 10. Let's take a look around, see if A&M isn't here. There it is, 2017 National Champions. The conference championships don't mean much because it's it's the out of the independents, which aren't a conference, but all games played. Won the Motor City Bowl, lost football classic. Played in the Sports Bowl a couple times. 
Silicon Valley, Jeep Aloha, Silicon Valley, Independence, and there's the Game Breaker Bowl. My job status is excellent, but I'm still a special teams coach. It's kind of funny. Congratulations on a great year. Thanks to you and the other football coaches, we've exceeded the expectations of even our biggest fans. Because this championship wasn't expected by our fans, it tastes all the sweeter. I know you have ambitions of being a head coach someday, and that day may be closer than you think if you keep working as you have. I urge you to stay with the program and make it a powerhouse. I appreciate all your hard work and look forward to shocking some more teams in the future. That's from the head coach. Okay. I only have a couple years left. I don't expect too much to happen. Already achieved the goal we set out to achieve, so... These are kind of the twilight years of the career. But maybe we can have a couple more successful years. And in two, that's respectable. We win the Silicon Valley Classic. And the Game Breaker Bowl goes to Miami, Tennessee. Tennessee takes it. I think they've won like three so far in this career. Linebackers there. We'll go go out all out. Pick the highest rated players. Texas Tech, Cal, BYU, Boston College, Notre Dame, Arkansas State. Bye. God, it's freaking spam. Let's see. Can I refresh that? Yeah. That crap off the screen. A floss to Wake Forest knocked us out of the top 15, 10 probably. Bowl game against LSU in the Music City. Beat them too. Game record goes to Michigan. We got one or two more seasons, I think. If 
you can't get lucky with a quarterback. Or maybe wide receivers would be better. Or a decent halfback, too. Probably should have focused on a quarterback, actually. Definitely don't want too many tough games. Add a couple cupcakes. Ten and four, probably no bowl game. Yeah. Syracuse getting in there. Michigan losing to Syracuse. Okay, this might be the final season. Too bad the quarterback's 67. I can't even get a blue chip. It sucks. Try again. Hmm. Oh well. We'll roll with whatever schedule we have. And Washington loses to Penn State seven to zero. See where AM is. Okay, inside bowl against Miami. Tough loss. Okay, that is it. Not a terrible ending. Nine and three. Pretty good. Ranked number 25. Finished in the top 25. So, took about 16 or so seasons to get the get the national title. Plenty of bowl games. Um, career record: 223 to 53. Finished a nine and three, and a career win percentage of 80 percent. Pretty good. Um, yeah. So, took a while, but, but, but we got there. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Twenty year career mode. Probably, I think it's a little bit short. I think you should probably be able to run it like 30, 40, maybe 50 seasons. Uh, but I think it's fairly realistic. Um, so that's going to do it, folks. That's Middle Tennessee State. Um, national, national championship run. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be seeing you guys in the next one.